Success on the football field is helping to keep the doors open at one small local high school. Now, for years, St. Bernard's in Fitchburg had really been struggling financially. Absolutely, but thanks to back-to-back -back football championships and a lot of community support, things are turning around. Mm -hmm. And as WBZ's Paul Burton tells us, the team hopes their story will help inspire others. Keeping the play alive. They say football is a game of inches. For student faculty and staff at St. Bernard's Central Catholic High School in Fitchburg, it's more of a lifeline. Describe how dire the situation was here. <laughs> it was very dire. <laughs> we, were, um, we were inches away from closure. We were told by the diocese that if our enrollment dropped below 100 students, uh, they would have to close us instantly. And it did drop below 100, but one Hail Mary no one anticipated was a small group of football players, only 25 of them on the team. It was really hard. Um, it felt like the whole pressure of the school was on us, and we just kind of had to, we had to win. They actually won a lot, two championships in three seasons, including one undefeated season. And their victories rallied not just the school, but the entire community. The school received an anonymous matching gift, which helped bring in a half a million dollars. We kind of were like the spirit of the school, and just us keep on winning and keep on making it farther and farther. It really just got the enthusiasm of the school up, and it got people to want to donate. It truly is a miracle story. Coach Tom Bingham said everybody rallied behind the team and began to fundraise for the school. When you ask the faculty, staff, and students here at St. Bernard's, they'll all say the same thing. This story is nothing short of a miracle. In fact, it's now been turned into a documentary called All In, Miracle at St. Bernard's. So the documentary goes live tomorrow on to the world, and, and tonight we get to take a deep breath and have a little bit of celebration. Bingham says there are so many lessons to be learned, but one specifically for the players he coaches. That bad things happen, and like you're measured on how you respond to that. To date, the school has raised more than $2.7 million. Principal Anderson says there's a lot to be said about faith, family, and football. It was right by the hair on our chinny chin chins. <laughs> it's very close. But enough to get the ball past the goal line and keep the doors of this 100-year-old school open for years to come. At Fitchburg, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.